Let's now move to Palo Alto Network's certifications. Now, just a little trivia. They don't want to call themselves Palo Alto. They don't want to be called PAN. It should be Palo Alto Networks. Yes, the complete name, Palo Alto Networks. Have you seen their website? Yeah, it's complete. PaloAltoNetworks.com That's a little strange, don't you think? Because website domains, the shorter, the better. You know what's even stranger? They are certifications. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Tech. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. I'm here now in paloaltonetworks.com. Whoo, that's the long domain name. So we'll go to services and I will click education and training. And there you go, we have the education services. If I scroll down, you will see a lot of blocks. And what are these? Well, these are the mix of digital learning, certifications, instructor led training, micro credentials, and the various technologies. Now, Palo Alto, or under Palo Alto umbrellas, we have a few technologies. We have cloud security, network security, security operations. This is more of a mix of SOAR or XDR, whatever. We're gonna look at this later. And we also have a SASE. Uh, cybersecurity fundamentals, this is more of a certification rather than technology. Threat detection and prevention, this is more of a service rather than certification. So let's look at the certifications. But first, let's click the instructor-led training. If I click this, these are the classroom or live classroom training about Palo Alto Networks to offer. So we have four days for Prisma Cloud, and then we have uh, three options for network security. We'll look at that later. We also have a training for SASE, and SASE is related to Prisma. We have Prisma SASE and Prisma SD WAN, and we also have trainings for Cortex XDR, okay, and SOAR, okay. So. What we want to know is, or are, the certifications. So if I click certifications, there you go. So we have different track. Okay, we have the um, cloud security track. And this is Prisma Certified Cloud Security Engineer, or PCSE. Now, this is associated to a training called Prisma Cloud Implementation and Configuration. It's four days. So if you attended this training, um, it is intended or designed for you to take this certification. And maybe you're thinking, what is Prisma Cloud? Okay, so Palo Alto is a security company and they became well known for their firewall or next generation firewall. And they acquired these two companies or the solution. One is Twistlock and Aporeto. And what are these two companies? Twistlock is a um, company that provides this solution a full life cycle security for containerized environment. And the goal is to secure the entire cloud native stack. Okay. And the other is Aporeto. And Aporeto is um, security and their solution is uh, zero trust security for cloud containers and microservices. So what Palo Alto did, I, I almost said PAN, what Palo Alto Networks did is or um, was they acquired both companies and consolidated both into a single solution. They rebranded it as Prisma Cloud, which is again, focused on cloud security. Okay, now this is uh, Prisma Cloud. Let's move to the other certification. Okay, so this is PCCET or Palo Alto Network Certified Cybersecurity Entry Level Technician. Now this is technician or entry level. Same level with CCST, same level with, uh, in AWS, we have Certified Cloud Foundation, okay? Uh, no, Cloud cert um, Certified Cloud uh, Practitioner, okay? So uh, foundational level or entry level is below associate or junior level, okay? And so this is for beginners, obviously. And uh, we also have network security, which is the more popular. 
The most popular cer uh, certification under Palo Alto would be the PCNSE or the Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Engineer. Okay, and uh, we also have PCNSA, PC excuse me, PCNSA or the Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Administrator. Now, this one I would say is associate level or junior level, which is the same level of Security Plus or CTNA. Okay, so that level, the uh, Security Engineer level, this is the same level of I would say um, CCNP security. We also have another certification, which is Palo Alto Network Certified Software Firewall Engineer, which really not too popular at all, PCSFE. But let's look at these two certifications because this is the more well-known. So this PCNSA, uh, it is associated for this five-day training. Um, the title of this training course is Firewall Essential configuration and management. Okay, so if you attend this course, it is intended or designed for you to take this certification. Now we also have this two courses. One is two day, the panorama, and the, the other is the firewall troubleshooting. Now, if you combine these two courses, it's, uh, it's a total of five days or one week. And uh, if you attend this course, it is intended and designed for you to take Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Engineer. For this certification, I don't really know. Okay, maybe it's part of the panorama or I don't know. Or maybe it's not part of any instructor-led. Maybe it's part of uh, the digital learning. So if I click this, okay, as you can see, by the way, I forgot. If I click the digital learning, you see the PCCET, the entry level or the technician level certification. It doesn't have an instructor-led training course. What is associated to this certification are just short instruct, not instructor-led, short digital learning. So most of these, if not all of these are free. Okay, just register, just sign up for the Palo Alto community. And then you can access this uh, four short courses, Introduction to Cybersecurity, Fundamentals of Cloud Security, fundamentals of network security, etc. And uh, once you complete it, I think it's enough for you to take and pass this exam, which is a little cheap. It's just $100 or $110 US dollars. Okay. Now for the firewall certification, excuse me, for the software firewall certification, mm, I would say it is more related to this um, courses, okay, not the instructor led this 11 hours, um, maybe cloud delivered security services, who knows, okay? It, it, all I know is the, the core certification is this too, okay? Now let's, let's untick this digital learning and let's continue on with the other certification. So this is not certification, the SASE. These are just two training courses, but not related to any certification at all, okay? But if you look, this SASE technologies is related to the Prisma Cloud. Okay, I. Okay, um, let's move to the security operations. Now, security operations, um, Palo Alto focuses on these two technologies the XDR and the SOAR. XDR stands for. Um, extended detection and response. It's actually an enhanced version of EDR, endpoint detection and response. And uh, we also have SOAR. Okay, SOAR. Um, SOAR stands for Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. Um, both of this technology is related to endpoint security. And what that's what Cortex, okay, Cortex is another solution acquired by Palo Alto. The Cortex um, solution is more on endpoint and this certification track security operations is more on endpoint XDR and SOAR okay so we have a couple of actually three structure led courses one is three day two days and four days and these three courses are related to this two certification Palo Alto Networks Certified Detection and Remediation Analyst and Palo Alto Networks Certified Security Automation Engineer I've already talked about many certifications, both vendor and vendor neutral. For Palo Alto Networks, despite the number of their certifications, there's not too much popularity. 
not too much marketing. So we have PCNSA and PCNSE. Well, they're kind of well known because they've been around for many years already. How about the other certifications? What do you think of the Cortex and Prisma Cloud certifications? How about their entry level or technician level cert? The Palo Alto Networks Certified Cybersecurity Entry Level Technician or PCCET. And by the way, where's their expert level certification? We didn't see it in their page. The Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Consultant.